Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RVing. Well, we're back at Avalon RV Center here in Medina, Ohio. Today we're looking at a Rockwood Mini Light 2109S. Kind of a nostalgic uh, visit this time around. Yeah, back when we first started looking at RVs a few years ago, this is the unit we thought we had to have and we we're so excited to give you a tour. So come along. So, Tony, are you ready to give us a tour of this brand new Rockwood Mini Light? How new is this, Tina? This has a build date of February 21st, 2023, which is like two weeks ago. So this is brand new. This I is love seeing very these, fresh. I love seeing these brand new units. This is pretty cool. What's on your hat, Tony? <laughs> oh, my new hat here. <laughs> this is when you're visiting Medina, of course, you're going to have to, if you're here. craving some sushi, you're going to have to go visit Project Sushi. It's just on the road from Avalon. Yes. So. John and, and Marilyn, they are, it's a family run business. They've been making awesome sushi for yeah. 20 plus years. Yeah. So, so go ahead and out. check them out. Okay. So let's get this tour underway. We're going to, Tony's going to do the outside for us. Go ahead, Tom. All right. So I always like to start up front with the dock light and that switch is right here. Wow, that's nice cool. and bright. It's seriously bright. And really Rockwood, they do such a nice job with this front cap. Automotive windshield, large automotive windshield. Of course, the rock guard, this diamond plate rock guard, really, helps protect that front cap when you're underway. And I really like this dark front. I've I do. They're doing that I like on the newer well. ones. I yes. really like that. And as well as Lippert's providing them this nice powder coated frame. We have two 30 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack with your override here. You put your speed handle in here and you could override that in the event you have a, a problem with that. You have room for two batteries, which oh, yeah. is nice in the, in the box here. And let's go around here and show them uh, this unit also has the additional solar on the side. So if you have, have a need to have an additional panel, you go ahead and can simply hook that up to there. Uh, this pass through, it's a little different from our unit. So this lifts up as opposed to ours is a little bit taller and opens up this way. But inside you still have plenty of room. Plenty Here's of room. a table it that- all, and It does go all the way through. Right. Even though it has that weird rounded area. It's still probably the same size because it goes deep back in here around the corner. Sure. Bit. And then off to the right there, there's your thousand watt inverter. Here's your uh, tool for overriding your tongue jack. And um, that's- and this Networks. is the table that can go inside. Yes. A lot I mean, of people have asked us about, is there a table right. inside these units? Yes. It's, it, a, it's a little bit heavy. Um, we elected to remove ours and not travel with it. Uh, we use our Cabela's aluminum tables that we like inside. inside and we have one dedicated for outside as well. Right. So here's your power stabilizer jack switch which I really do like these power stabilizers. Mm -hmm. uh, nice large awning, nice of awning. course. Here's your rail for where you can put your shelf uh, for in your griddle, if you so choose. Spot for your TV. Here is your furnace uh, air intake and exhaust. Power, and here's your uh, cable satellite hookup as well for your television. Outside speakers. Uh, nice LED light strip, kind of light up the night when you're hanging out at the campsite. And then here is your oven exhaust. So you, you have to actually go ahead and open it like that. When you're done for the uh, trip, you just simply go ahead and close that like that. So friction door, as you can hear the squeaky, it's a little mm -hmm. bit but snug, you, you want that. but you do want that. And of course you have a, um, a piece here that you can attach to the door if it's really windy to help keep that secured. Yep. So you have your more ride step above steps. And notice this one only has, has two steps. Two steps. Where ours think. has three. Yeah. Why is so that? this sits a little bit lower. Okay. So this has got a little more clearance when you're going underway, which I really like as well. Here's your light uh, step your light step there, light. Yep. your rear switch for your rear stabilizers. And then let's go up top, Teen. I'm going to show them what the roof looks like. Okay. Alrighty, up top we have our Max Air vent fan. Here's your 190 watt solar panel, 15,000 BTU AC unit, Wi-Fi Ranger. 
And here's your gray tank vent, a rear maxer vent fan, shower dome, and then here's your black tank vent. So let's go back down and see the rest of this unit. Alrighty, now that we're down, let's continue the tour. Here's your spare tire, outdoor shower. You're also prepped if you look up top for a rear camera and definitely recommend having that done. You have, what's nice about this unit too, look team, you have a rear hitch. And this is great if you wanna haul bicycles or you wanna uh, put a cargo rack on there, what have you. And that has a, a capacity of 300 pounds, by the way. Okay. So around this side, and this is a 30 amp unit. So this takes uh, 30 amp power. Uh, right here, we have our city water connection. This is our black tank flush and antifreeze inlet. And of course your cable and satellite hookup. And I'm gonna take you down below here and show you the gray and black tank drains. So this is nice and actually well supported here. Here's your gray tank uh, drain and your black tank drain as well. This has a covered underbelly, which is nice. Dexter torsion axles. And this unit here is on uh, 14 inch tires. This is like Bell as well. This has a never adjust uh, brakes, which is nice. Actually has the easy lube axles as well, if you so choose to do that. And then let's go back up here. <laughs> All right, so this slide, this is- uh, a cute little slide. It's a cute little slide. It's a Schwintex slide. So that's what you could identify that by uh, the, the side here, top and bottom. And it has a nice slide topper as well. Yep. So all on the slide here, you actually have access to the back area of the couch. So you have a little bit of storage here. It is carpeted, so maybe have something in a bin or what have you, and you could go ahead and place that you back here. You can kind of access that from the inside too, which is interesting, but yes. I, we like having the access from the outside Especially when you lose things back there. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, if you're putting like paper towels and different things, right. you could plates or what have you, you could grab it from the outside as well. Yeah. Alrighty, so here is your fresh water tank drain. I'm going to take you underneath and show you that. And that's what that looks like. Nice little T-handle. And there you go. And then here is your water heater. It's on this side, actually. So this is a suburban water heater. That just like we have. That's weird that it's here and there on there. Well, it's just the that's way okay. it's positioned. So that's that. And your fresh water tank fill is right there as well. And here is the other side, a little smaller door uh, for the storage compartment. And I'm gonna show them the inside from this view here, or angle. Here's your 1000 watt inverter and the space in here, which is actually really nice. There's, there's still a lot of room in here. Alrighty, so that wraps up the outside. Tina, why don't you show us what the inside looks like? Okay, come on along. Alrighty, so here's another look at the outside. So let me give you a tour of the inside. And you're gonna see why this is so nostalgic for us because it's a lot like Bell on the inside. It's just a little shorter this way, a little shorter this way, and a little bit lighter in weight. <laughs> so come on in. Tony, you wanna show them the panel here? Sure. Alrighty, so real quick here, the We RV panel. I really like this new style panel. It has a motion uh, sensor here. So when you're walking by, it'll actually light up, which is nice. And here's your controls for your awning, slide, of course, your water heater, water pump, etc., tank heaters. And then what we really like about this is you no longer have to look out and see if your step light is on or off or what have you. When it turns blue, it means that the light is on. Another thing I like about this is you no longer have to press any buttons to see where you are with your uh, freshwater tank, black tank, gray tank, etc. You can just look and it shows you along also with your battery. Up top here, we have the um, We RV uh, app. You just scan this with your, your phone and then pair it and then you'll be able to control a lot of this function with your tele or with your smartphone and then above that is your um solar controller and 
uh, all that information there as well. So Tina, yes. you want to take us around yes. and show us the interior. I do. And, and you're going to see why we like this unit size wise and everything and why we almost chose this as opposed to what we actually did go to. And we'll show you why we chose what we went with and not this unit. But I'm going to start out here with the nice microwave. We've got the Magic Chef microwave right above the stove, which again has this nice friction that keeps it closed now when you're traveling, which I really like. And this also has the light on the dials as well, which I really like. Nice little night light. Yep. And there's so Brand much, new oven. I know. <laughs> there's so much friction. Would you want that? Because then your door's not going to pop open while you're traveling. Right. So nice oven here. Oh, look at the drawer underneath yeah. there. Ours, ours doesn't. We, I, we, no, this we don't nice. have because so our furnace is underneath our oven. Uh, that's why. Okay. So you have a drawer here as well as these deep drawers here, and you have there your cubby here for scrub brushes. Mm -hmm. Deep drawers here. The two drawers here. All oh, this is really nice space. And, and that's wanna... the back side of your furnace right here. That's oh. the vent. Okay. And also, this is the Newport Ash cabinetry, which is just like what we have. I like that a lot. Here's your dual sink. Nice big counter space. There's You've plenty got of the, counter space here. You, there's a lot of counter space here, actually. You have the faucet here, and I'm going to come around this way. But it has the extension. Look how much counter space there is. That is really nice. So I like it. Here. It has your curtain, so you can close it off if you have guests. Or what have you or if I get up early and uh, you know what's interesting though you close this you can't see the TV if you're sitting here that's interesting oh that's, that's interesting. interesting but I don't know because how ours is it. the other way around right. you're right well this ours is, is where on you, the outside this is where you lose your space yeah your space is lost here because as um, we would have that big cabinet here but in with the, the 20, fireplace and all right so in the 2109 you do it is shorter but you still have the same size television, which is good size TV. You have a nice big window here. Actually, I like that. Skinny. I like that too. I do. It's, it's nice. What I'm not loving, which I never really realized, this is the short queen. So, so this is it's the a 60 by 74. 74. As opposed to the 60 by 80. Still works for a lot of people though. So yeah, not everybody's six foot tall, Tina. The griddle is right here, so I'm not gonna. But so back over here, you have look at all this. You still have tons of that's cabinet the space. same cabinet space that we would have. Exactly the same. Exactly the same cabinet space here. It now has the outlets. The outlets, like outlets that. are above. That See? is nice. And this, there's a magnet here, so this goes up. Nice big window. Nice big window comes down. So you latch it, and then you it's secure it to there. Hey, it probably got to go up. Oh, a little I have bit to go more. up a little bit. Right oh, there. that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, you just gotta stop it in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for the blooper reel. Nope, I think I'm just gonna keep it in. I can't get this. System. There we go. <laughs> I'm thinking I like ours a little better. <laughs> I think so, once you get the hang of it, we'll be okay. Yeah, I think so. Because somebody had written in about that, about they weren't sure how they would like that because if they bumped it in the middle of the night would it go rolling up really fast <laughs> it doesn't it's a nice slow rise and you could actually adjust the speed um yeah of that by the way max air fan fan actually this unit has two there's a max air vent fan here and there's also one in the bathroom over here on this window is the emergency exit right so we do have the emergency exit here as well and then, of course, we got your USB charger. There's a yes. remote switch. I oh, know that's actually yeah, a light switch. This is the light switch. Yeah. See and that? the USB. Yes. You have three drawers down here. Oh, by the way, real quick, I wanted to point out this is your inverter. That's the remote switch for your inverter right there. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Thank you. <laughs> so you also have the storage under the bed with the drawers as well so you do there's a lot of storage even as for a small unit this does have a lot of storage it has the cabinetry up here these are the doors i'm not i'm not going not to a be huge about because they band. don't stay open so i right. put struts on there or something something we we would have to figure something out so it 
that might get a little annoying after a while. But still like the cabinet space up there. It is nice. They did this a good job with that. Has the jackknife couch. But look at this, which I don't think they had this before. No. It has the armrest here. So you do have you have your um, cup holders and you have a lot of space. And we're gonna pull the jackknife out to show you what it looks like because then you do get an extra bed. And that might be important to some people for right. sure. So let's continue. We'll around. continue the tour and then we're gonna open this back up and we're gonna show you why you can't take the couch out and put in theater seating. This only comes with the jackknife couch. So this has the thermostat, old style here. So Light. right, it's not a digital thermostat. No. So so here's your bathroom, but I do want to point out, this has really nice new hardware. The nice hardware of the oil rub bronze kind of look. I do like that. That is really nice. So in here is your bathroom, which is a nice size. I think this is the same size as our unit. You've got your medicine cabinet here as well as your nice faucet again nice fixture all in one space down here for your toilet paper and what nots <laughs> or forget me nots <laughs> here's your shower and this has the water the shower, shower miser yeah. I keep calling it a water miser it's a shower <laughs> miser but nice big shower here you want I can step in here and actually there's plenty of room yeah, there yeah this is just like ours I would say yeah it's exactly like ours so your toilet, I don't think it has a soft close. I think that is a soft close. Tina, it is. <gasps> it's a soft close. Nice. Nice. So, so no need to change go. that out. Yeah. And then, of course, your max then, air vent fan that's up top there. Yes. And max air vent fan, your air conditioning, and your nice linen closet, which is a really uh, lots of space. There's there. a lot of space There's there. There's a lot of space. So you can see why we actually really like this unit at first. The only reason we ended up going what we wanted is because I wanted that pantry. You lose that pantry here, and we wanted the theater seating. Otherwise, I think we would have bought this unit. Absolutely. Here is your refrigerator. Has the doors opening this way, I would change that up. So here's your refrigerator. 12 volt magic chef, just like ours. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator, freezer. Your converter is down here as well as your CO detector. And that is a smart converter. So now these things are coming already prepped. If they put lithium or if you decide to put lithium batteries, it will automatically detect them and charge them at the appropriate voltage. So that's really nice. And there's our uh, fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Nice little cubby for cubby your for shoes your and shoes. stuff. And here is your front hall closet. I already put my purse in here. But this is where it has a place where you can hang things. I take these shelves out so you can hang coats or you can leave the shelves in if you need more uh, space for stuff. Exactly. So let's open up this yeah, couch and couch show them what, what it, looks, it like. looks like. Okay, Tony. All right, this unit is super easy to get this couch out. And what you're gonna do is lift up here and then look at that. Now you have a bed. And, and we have, we left that open oh, on yeah. the outside. Um, you obviously, you obviously would not it. have that open. But Unless you want to roll out, it's I don't not, know. Not too bad. I'm going to leave my feet off, but just to give yeah. you an idea of how much room you have. Yeah, you do have a lot of room. Yeah, actually you do. You have plenty of room. Yeah. So you if you have the occasional guest and, and uh, need a little additional sleeping space, mm -hmm. this thing's it is nice. pretty slick. But yeah. what I wanted to share with you is you are not able to just remove this and put in different seating or at least you wouldn't be able to do it easily, easily. how's that that'll that'll cut down on the comments <laughs> but do you see how the slide is not flush with the floor it's actually raised so that's one of the reasons we like the 2205s was the slide on that is actually flush with the floor so in the event you wanted to replace your seating or or what have you, you, you have a lot more option with that as well. Right. And like Tina said, we wanted the theater seating and that wasn't an option with right. this unit at the time. We heard the 2205S came with it. And that's we were a little bit apprehensive at the time too because it's a little bit longer, a little bit taller. A little no. bit heavier <laughs> so but you can see why we really like this unit and i think this unit would be great for a lot of people no question all righty so tina you're gonna bring in the slide now yeah, i'm gonna bring in the slide and we're gonna see how much space you have in here once the slides in
And once again, anytime you're going to be operating a slide, especially the Schwintec slide, you want to go all the way in or all the way out. You don't really want to stop in between. And there you go. Wow, there's a Look, lot of this space. has a lot more of space here for sure. Now, can you sit on this? Oh, right now, we're looking it... underneath the slide uh, with it in. And Tina asked the question if it would be okay to sit on the couch with the slide in. And I would definitely not recommend it. Here's what it looks like. There's your uh, dual motor synchronizer. That's the controller, that box right there with the wires along with some water uh, lines and plumbing lines and stuff. So that's what's underneath the couch. Well, there you have it, folks. That was a Rockwood Mini Light 2109S. And this thing is fresh. Two weeks old. Two weeks old, right <laughs> up the line. There you go. But I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed to TNT RVing. If you like this unit or any other unit on the Avalon RV website, please give them a call. And if you see a unit on their website that you want us to tour, please leave a comment below and we'll get to it if we can. Uh, if it's available, we would be happy to do that. Yep. So, um, and if you're visiting the Medina area, don't forget about Project, Project sushi. sushi. Good people, great sushi. And we'll see you at the campground.